Today's question, leak code 78 subsets. Given an integer array nums of unique elements, return all possible subsets, the power set. The solution set must not contain duplicate subsets. Return the solution in any order. So here we have an example. We have a nums array, which is one, two, three, and then we just want to output all possible subsets. And again, these are unique elements. Constraints, nums.length is greater than or equal to one and less than or equal to 10. Let's have a look at how we'd work this out. So we have a nums array. We need to populate a result array. And initially, we know that every solution is going to contain an empty array. So we can just initialize that result array with an empty array to begin with. Now, because it's asking for all possible subsets, this will be another recursive solution. So we need to loop through nums and we need to recurse through each solution to find all potential solutions. Let's say we take one, okay? So we've taken one, two and three is left. We're gonna have a current array, which is going to store the values which we take. We take one, and as soon as we've taken it, we are going to push it into results. So we have taken one, okay? We have two and three left. We take two. Current is updated. So at this position, current is equal to one, two. We push directly into results, the value of current. This will give us three left. And then we can take three at this position. There's going to be nothing left here, but current at this position going to equal one, two, and three. And as soon as we add to current, we push into results. So we have one, two, three. Now I've reached the end of this. So we backtrack, backtrack. We get to here. We have three as a potential solution. So we take three and there is nothing else in here. So current at this position is one and three. As soon as we add three into current, we push it into results and then three. Now we backtrack, we check this level. There's nowhere else to go. So we go back up to this level. We move over to two. So current is now emptied. We take two. We have three left. Current is currently at two. So we push two in here. We are only moving incrementally through this. So we don't include one here because that will include duplicates. And then we take three. So we add that to current two and three, and then we push that into results two and three. And then we are at the end of this stage. So we backtrack, we backtrack, we get to this level. We move over to three. We take three current is now three because we emptied it whilst backtracking. And now we can push this into the result array. This is now at the end of this stage. So we backtrack and we realize there's nowhere else to go. So we exit that for loop and then we just return results. So that's the tree structure of how this solution is formed. And in terms of time complexity, what we have, the time is we have n times two to the power of n, where n is the numbers within the nums array. So we have the initial loop here, which is going to equal the n, and then the subsets all throughout here is going to equal this exponential part since each element could be absent or present. And in terms of space, we have O of n, where we are allocating space to the current array. And also just to note, we do not include the result array in the computation of the space complexity. This is ignored. So let's try implementing this. So as we stated, we need a result array and we're going to initialize this as an array containing a single array. We can create the function the backtracking recursive function, and we can call it with the initial index, which is going to be zero, and an empty array, which is going to be the current value, which is going to contain all of the potential solutions as we move through this recursive call. So we can call this index and we can call this current. Within here, what we're going to do is we're going to jump straight into the for loop. So i is going to be equal to index, i is less than nums.length. And like we said in our explanation, we have to push into current the nums are i and then immediately after that we push that value into results and we create a copy of it because we are going to be manipulating current now and then we create the recursive call so dfs we're going to be incrementing index because we want the next potential solution and then we pass in the current value which we just updated in order to make sure that this finds all the solutions we are going to backtrack so we just say current.pop and lastly, we need to return result. See if that's worked.
Who submit it. And there you go.